Our entertainment reporter had an interesting interview with Theo James about his new movie coming out this week, Underworld Blood Wars. Jim Ferguson. Yeah, before we talk to Theo James, though, I like your sweater. Oh, Christmas thank gift, you. Right? It was a Christmas gift for my mother-in-law. Oh, okay, all right. Thank you so much. I'll <laughs> let her know uh, that you thought it was nice. Oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Underground Blood uh, <laughs> Blood Wars. It picks up where Underground Awakenings mm -hmm. ended, and um, the Lycans uh, are in battle with the vampires, and Kate is fighting them both off this time. Okay. And her ally is a very good looking young man, Theo James, who we remember from Divergent. That's how I know him. And he's got a new one coming out in just about a month called uh, Backstabbing for Beginners. It's a political drama. He's the star with Ben Kingsley. So he's really moving up fast. Wow. You know? But he's in a great mood for this interview. And should we, well, we'll let our audience. Yeah, watch. we'll see what he said. Your character, David, uh, seems to be searching for his destiny. Is that accurate? Yeah, I think he is in some way. That's why he gets the special trendy sword. Yeah. That... <laughs> he gets the, the best sword in the lot. Yeah, yeah. that kind of... Uh, he, he is looking for his legacy, and that's part of the story, yeah, how he has kind of shunned authority, but now he has to mm. embrace it, essentially. Now, your character, along with Kate's character, Celine, they're on the run again, but their relationship is evolving. Would you, would you agree with that? Yeah, I think he's constantly trying to get inside her pants and she's constantly <laughs> saying sort of that's understandable <laughs> exactly they're very tight pants um yeah no it has evolved they um i think you know they uh, he they have a mutual respect for each other but he he kind of wants to protect her my last two minutes a comment on the fight scenes with laura Wow. Fun. <laughs> fun. fun. Very fun. And, uh, you know, in the underworld tradition, she also has a, a good relationship with leather. Um, <laughs> but, You're uh, in a great mood today. <laughs> <laughs> great. Uh, yeah, very good. I think it's always fun to get beaten up. Um, and uh, By a woman. Yeah, exactly. And I think she, uh, she played the, the arch villain very well. Seriously, though, the, the sword fighting, uh, you have to do some choreography for that. You, you have to know what you're doing in handling the sword, I'm sure. Yeah, no, it's, it's a bit of a dance, um, and you kind of have to definitely know what you're doing. But it is weird. The more you do these kind of action, action sequences, the easier it becomes somehow, because mm -hmm. you know where you need to put the energy into and, and where you don't. You know, when you first start, you kind of waste energy kind of everywhere, whereas, whereas that becomes a bit easier. And same applies to the wild battle scenes. My God. Yeah, the head's <laughs> being cut off. and you know. head's being <laughs> holding the head up in the air. It's very subtle. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, when you look at this as an actor, the costumes, the, uh, the action, it, uh, it has to be fun as an actor. Uh, hard work, not easy. But uh, you had to have, as you would say in England, a giggle. You have to have a giggle, and that's helped by Kate having lots of giggles constantly. Uh, because she, you know, again, she doesn't take it too seriously, and I think exactly that. You, yeah. you, you know, you can't, we're not doing Hamlet, we're doing, you know, a fun genre pick which enables people to escape for a couple of hours. Right. You know, for such a dark movie, he was yeah. so lighthearted during this interview. I know. Well, he looks at it as a giggle. Yeah. Total escapism. And that, yeah. that's what it is. You know, a lot of dark clothes. Did you notice? And yeah. I want to apologize to our viewers, too. I called it underground. Oh, it's okay. Underworld. Underworld, yeah. right. Uh, that's what happens when you're not got a little cold. I know. You got feeling. a little something, something going know, on. I know. I know. But we have the star, Friday. Yeah. Kate. Beautiful Kate Beckinsale. Uh, Celine. <laughs> she is in great shape and a uh, fun interview as well. She doesn't yeah. wear any of the leather in the interview? Did she put, hang up her leather suit? No, I have a nice picture with her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jim, with uh, Kate. Kate and I go way back. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure you got you. To the have... first one. This is number five, yeah. by the way. Yeah. So I'm sure, uh, you know, kind of talking to her along the way throughout all these movies. You know, she's a great actress. And you wonder why does she do these kind of films? Well, it made $164 million. The last one did. That's why. 164 million dollars. That's why. That's why. Okay. So we'll hear from her, and then uh, you'll also give us uh, your review. I'll review it on Friday. All yeah. right. Jim, thank you for coming. Oh, it's always fun. Absolutely. Now, to catch more of Jim's interviews, visit TucsonMorningBlend.com and search for Hollywood Happenings.